Okay, this is a quick video to just hit on the topic of when you're ruminating about your ex. It's one of those normal things and it's real a real easy trap to get into. And I see this a lot with a lot of the comments where people are struggling because they're still in that, that surprise phase of holy crap, I can't believe it. Basically it's holy crap, I can't believe I'm going through this. And it's really tough because as you're trying to process everything, you're still looking at what's going on with your ex. You're still engaged with it. You're still getting angry about it. You're still bitter about it. And you have every right to be all those things. The problem is, is as you do that, you're, you're staying connected to your ex. Now, I went through this myself and it was this constant, just daily churn of what was going on, what was coming next, what were they getting away with, what, you know, all those different things. And it got to the point for me that I just was sick of it. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And I was just tired. Now, even when I got to that point, it wasn't one of those things where I just woke up one day and it was like, um, okay, you know, yay, I'm over it. No, it's still, I had to work at it. The problem is, is when you're stuck in that mode and you're constantly engaging and thinking about your ex, then you are trapped with them. You can't move on with your own life because you are stuck dealing with the muck of what's going on with your ex. The problem with that, like I just said, is it traps you. You're unable to move forward. And, it, and, and I could see that some people could be saying, well, I can't move forward because they've taken all my money. They've taken um, my, my security. And, and guy, just to clarify, it doesn't matter if you're saying that from the, the payee perspective or the payer perspective. Because a lot of time what happens is, especially, it's amazing how narcissists are able to manipulate the system. And if, if they're the ones getting paid, then that's what'll happen. You'll, if, if your narc is the, the payee, and I'm not saying that all payees are, are narcs, I'm just saying that they will be able to manipulate the system. Conversely, if you're the person who was the supportive one, there's a pretty good chance if you're dealing with a narcissist that more than likely, they're gonna find a way to finagle out of paying. I, it's an amazing thing because, you know, in my, in my situation, there's no way, right? I mean, I will pay and if I don't, I mean, whenever I was a little bit late, they were coming after me like freaking, you know, the dogs of war. But this is one of those things that happens. And what, what I'm saying with that, and the whole point of that is, is you can get really caught in no matter what mode you're on, saying, well, I can't move forward because they've done this to me. And yes, they, they have, but, at some point, you have to take your life back. At some point, you have to say, enough is enough, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore, and I'm taking a pause, and I'm choosing me, and I'm going to start making decisions to try to take my life back. And if that means I have no money, and I have no ability to do anything, you find a way to normalize that, and you find a way to make peace with it so that you can get your life back. And that's not letting the other person off the hook, it's letting you off the hook, because you don't want to be in a situation like I was in, where for for a couple of years, you're just constantly going through this loop, not accomplishing anything, not moving on, not able to start breaking free, and it, it just corrupts your life. Now, this isn't gonna be something that you're gonna be able to do overnight. This is gonna take work to do, and I'm hoping that with this video, you can take a pause and go, huh, well, maybe he has a point. You know, it, I'm not, it, it's, it's a fine line because a lot of times people will say, well, you just need to get over it and you just need to move on and you need to do all these things, which yes, there's a fundamental truth to it. And I'm not saying it like that. What I'm saying is, is you owe it to yourself to find a way to be able to move past it. Nobody's going to be able to tell you, well, just let it go, right? Because you have to make peace with it. I couldn't just let it go. I was not in a situation that I was able in the early stages of that just to go, mm, yeah, my whole life has been destroyed and it's all been an illusion. It's all been a lie, but I'm okay with it because at least I got her out of my hair. God, I wish that I could have done that. I so wish that it would have been that easy, that I would have been able to walk out that door and be like, you know what, whatever crazy thing happens next, I don't care because at least, you know, I'm away. Well, no, that's not the way it happened. It was, I got completely hit and blindsided, just like you are going through the same thing. And you can stay in that mode and that bitter and angry mode, or you can start to try to find a way to make peace with it to get your life back earlier. Guys, that is when everything starts to change. That's when things really start to change. Now I'm trying to be 
serious, I mean, I'm serious in all these videos, but I'm, and I, I just really wanna to try to drill this home, I, not to, to basically say you shouldn't feel the way you, you, you're feeling right now because you have every right to feel the way you are right now. I'm saying is, is that your ex has still got a grasp on your heart and your soul and you wanna take it back. It's not easy to do. It is absolutely not easy to do, but you owe it to yourself to work towards doing that. So all I want you to do is I want, I want to just plant that seed in your head that you can get to the point to where you're not spending every waking moment thinking about what they're doing, what they've gotten away with, how they're negatively impacting your kid. I mean, all the things that are legitimately true, but what happens is, is it corrupts you too, right? So instead of you being up here at a higher level, you're dragging yourself down to their emotional level and it's trapping you there. Once you let yourself go and you are able to start getting your life back and real, um, realizing your true potential, if you wanna say it that way, you're in a much better way to take care of yourself and you're also in a much better way to at least set an, set an example and show a contrast for your kids. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts on this, what you're thinking about it. If you put that in the comments below, I would appreciate it. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell notification for no, uh, so YouTube will tell you about videos. And if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, do that over at dadsurvivingdivorce.com. And you can also sign up for the DSD Discord. Um, I do have a, a tutorial on how to use that. If you want to know how to use that, just drop me a note or send me an email and I can send you the link. On that, I'll chat with you soon. Take care.